Well, everybody, this is it. Do you dang believe it? This is it. I have finished the She Shed slash Art Studio. It's complete. So I want to take you inside. But before we do that, I want you to know what has been done outside. I built a ramp. Steps on this side, as you can see. But sometimes people have like those roller bags. And no, it's not ADA compliant, but I don't have to be. I'm not a business. But I do believe that if I needed to, I could push a wheelchair up that ramp. And I know those little pavers in the front kind of look a little funky, but they are some of the construction samples that I end up with. So I've put them there in case anybody has a great idea for them. They can grab one and paint it, use it as a doorstop or decoration, whatever. So that's my goal is to use what I have and do creative things with it. So let's go on in, head that way. I turned the lights on just so you can see what they look like. Of course it is daylight, but I've turned all the lights on. So let's step on up here if I can do this without tripping. Um, of course, a carpet sample. Ha ha. And my one person swings. I have one on each side. And of course, they're not so far apart that you can't have a conversation. Uh, that's my sissy gate in case I just want to let her out on the porch for a little bit. And I guess that's the gist of. Well, no, let me show you this. I was given this welcome sign as a secret sister gift um, in January and also from that person, which was Charlotte. She gave me this little plaque. Friends are flowers in the garden of life. And then this little rock that said believe. So those are a couple of the things that I have outside. I figured the least I have, the least I have to take care of. So let's come on in and I'm going to close the door. Keep my cool air in. Alrighty, my kitchen area. I did a wire rack and that's microwave. That is a toaster oven that actually can be a toaster too. <laughs> and then on the bottom is my Keurig coffee pot that can either take the pods or you can make a pot. I just put a cutting board there kind of like as a little countertop surface and then some storage on the bottom. I got what is not necessarily a full-size fridge but it's pretty darn close. Then out here also one of my paintings and I store my um, um, ladder over there and then this unit is the um, gun cabinet, as I told you before, that my husband got for graduation when he graduated 100 years ago. And I built shelves in it without using any nails. And it is going to be used for things that I want to sell. I have a bookcase in Plains, Georgia in the Antique Mall. And um, I take things down there periodically to sell. Of course, the laminate planks that I put in myself and the strip between, the transition strip between the um, carpet and the floor. And then here's the bathroom, a little sink, at Sissy's water bowl on there, and then a working toilet finally. And I do have a couple paintings that I've done through the years and um, on the walls. And then all I did here was... I used a Billy bookcase, a small one from Ikea, just to store other things. I didn't really want to put up a paper towel holder or a toilet tissue holder. So the bathroom is so small that everything is within reach. And then of course some more carpet samples on the floor. And then let's see if I can do this. Uh, hold on. There is one side to my curtain for the bathroom that I made out of fabric samples and of course it's different on the other side um, and then that's a clay piece that I did and then another painting and then that was a dimensional painting so this is all when you come in 
And then remember my story, Jerry, up above. I do have some items stored up there, so I'm making use out of that. And um, so that's nice. Oh, there's another clay piece that I put over the, the door. So now I've kept you all in suspense. Here it is. This is it. And it's a nice size. I'm comfortable with it. I right now have four tables down the middle, which is a comfortable size as well. Um, I think whoever comes to play with me will be comfortable. Um, so let's just kind of go down one side and we'll work our way back to the front door. Here I have all kinds of like vintage items and I have my lace and trims. Well, that jar up there is vintage, but the earplugs are not. I give out earplugs to, at every retreat I go to, just in case they have a roommate that's a little noisy. Um, anyway, so fabric samples and some regular fabric all went into a cube unit. And then down here on the floor, I know it's a little junky, but those are items that I'm going to be selling. And then my threads and bobbins and miscellaneous patterns and fabric that goes to some upholstery in my home are um, in there and my ribbons and then that's some overflow different kinds of pieces and big pieces of upholstery fabric that I was given and then do you remember when I did the suitcase and I decoupaged it with old maps well this is journals that either I have done or I've purchased or have been given to me and I love it. It is so cute to me. Um, like this. Sorry about that. I hit the button on the iPad. Um, this was the journal that I did for Nick the Booksmith. The very first journal I ever did with blueprints. Anyway, there's the suitcase. And then above it I have my chicken wire frame where I put cards or little things that I want to keep. And then down the wall, I do have miscellaneous paintings that I have done. But this now is my sewing station. So I have three tables with a cutting mat. And um, underneath of it, are of course, more storage, roller bags for the suitcase. And then I have like a bunch of cigar boxes and stuff that they'll be out of the way under there. But it's nice to have a sewing station. And each table in each station has a little trash can. And then this is what I did with the candy rack that I was given. I put paints in it and I think it's so cute and it works perfect. And you can see the type of paint that you want to use. And then, of course, I do have my old bottle paint rack. And under there, of course, I, I'm storing things. I have those binders are all stencils. And then that's Sissy's bed. Got to have a place for her to to take a nap and then this is my paint station overall and um it just has brushes and daubers and those are some clay pieces that I'm working on doing something with and then underneath of it I have some watercolors and inks and things like that sitting on some crates but it's nice to be able to have a paint station and I put a cloth down so if I get messy or whatever, you never know. I might cut up that cloth and do something with it too. And then that trash can right there actually has things for a jelly plate to make impressions and all. And um, my jelly plates are up under there too. Now this brown rack is something that eventually I hope is going to go away. I don't like it. I don't like it in front of my window and I don't really have another place. But for right now, I need it because of the stuff that's in it has nowhere else to go. Now, this rack, right, I mean, this rolly cart right here is going to have a TV on it one day. So we'll just move it away for right now. Um, and then here is my rack that has some wooden stamps on it. And then this um, unit, of course, I'd like it to go away too, but it doesn't really bother me. It holds big pieces of cardboard and things to make journal covers and stuff and then miscellaneous papers and then the white um the white basket right there it just has um assorted like scrapbook stuff in it scrapbook papers like by holiday valentine's easter and stuff and then here 
is my, um, I call it a toolbar. It's where all my tools sit and you can walk up to it hopefully and do some work. And then underneath, I've said it before, I don't mind the plastic bins. I can see what's in them. So as you can see, everything is full. And I did have to utilize on top to um, put some more stuff, which I have a lot of stuff. I, I can't help it. And then I couldn't wait to hang up my poster. And then this is the toolbar with the lights on. And, um, you know, so that if you're working up there and it is late and it's dark outside, you can have some light directly over top of you. And then this is um, where I keep my ink pads. And then right now, this is where I have assorted papers. I have a little junk pile right there that I'm trying to figure out what to do with. I've been cutting on paper. And believe it or not, this stack of paper is scrap paper. It's paper that I'm going to use to glue on. I had been taking it um, from an old job I had. They were throwing away a bunch of stupid stuff. So I brought it all home with me. And until I actually put it all together, I didn't know how much I had. Um, and then this is outside looking over at my house. And um, a stained glass piece I did. And then some more clay pieces that I did. Those are actually boxes. So let's back up here a little bit. And this is going to be kind of just like a PlayStation for me. And it's also where I video. There's my camera. And um, it's got my markers and all kinds of little things in it charms and stuff like that and um and of course i've got baskets down on each side of me and things tucked everywhere and things on the floor underneath of it i think i've done pretty well at utilizing just about every space and then a peacock painting i did years ago and then i got um some wire racks now i'm going to tell you you see two racks but it's the shelves from three racks it uh it's cheaper to buy another rack and get the five shelves than it was just to buy two shelves. So it, it didn't make sense, but dollar wise it did. So this is going to be a work in progress. Everything is on there, all my odds and ends. And yeah, sometimes I have to flip around to find baskets and toss things around to see what's in them. But nonetheless, everything for the most part when it comes to ephemera and stuff should be there. Now the glass jars at the top, they are twine and re-inkers and little stamp pads and glitter and flower soft and H2Os, just all kinds of stuff up there. And then here's the piece that I redid, the cubby holes. And um, I don't have something in all of it yet, but nonetheless there it is i have not put the numbers back on them yet i have not cleaned them up and there's just a sampling of some of the um wrapping paper i have and then here's my books and then that right there let me get my finger in here that right there and that right there are my acrylic and unmounted stamps and i catalog them and number those little plastic um trays and anyway, the books were, let me tell you, no less than a pain in the ass to bring over here because <laughs> books are so heavy, so I couldn't make like a big box of them or anything. I had to just pretty much carry an armload every time I came, but they're over here. And then I guess you probably noticed when I walked in, I have a um, dump bin and that is like all kinds of smaller fabric samples. And then underneath is um, wood samples from work. And then underneath in the wooden trays over here, like that first bin is leather samples and then some wood samples and then some plastic. And then the last one is um, napkins. So if nothing else, things are pretty well sorted. And I have to tell you, the one thing that I like about the room is that I can walk up and I can get what I need. I don't have to move something else to get to something else. It was driving me crazy. And that's when I decided I needed to do something. Now, right now, I don't have my air conditioner on. But there's the unit that I got all installed. And again, my lights in here. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that I need to tell you. 
because this will be it. This will be, I intend on it being the last video um, for the She Shed. So, but let me hear from you. If you have any questions or you want to know about something that you see in this video, um, you know, I, I am going to sell things, um, things that I've made, things that I've painted. Um, I might even have something here like that brown bin I was telling you about there with the drawers will be for sale. Um, not everything, of course, but some things need to go. Um, the Rasco carts, right now they serve their purpose. I really like them. The turquoise ones people want, but they won't be going anywhere. Um, I, I need those. They hold a lot of stuff for me. But anyhow, that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to take you around one more time from different angles and let you see um, my power tower in the middle of the table for folks to plug into. And uh, I guess maybe that's it, huh? Um, I, I, I like it. I'm tickled with it. I'm glad I did it. And would I do it again? I don't know. And that's why I was trying to tell everyone the good and the bad and the ugly before they get started to do something like this on their own. So please, like I said, reach out to me. You know, let me hear if you have any questions or ideas. And um, those that have followed me through this journey, I want to thank you very much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. It, uh, I couldn't have done it without y'all. It, it kept me inspired to keep on going and try to do it fast. And even though COVID-19 was a horrible thing, it gave me six weeks of working from home where I could be here when contractors came or whatever. And, um, and then I could do things in the evening without being so tired coming from work. So that part of it was all good. So again, I appreciate you all. And let's come back now and, and see what I am up to and what I'll have to create. I'm hoping some big things. So anyway, I appreciate y'all and I guess I'm going to end and um, I will see you all later on and I do appreciate you. And please give me that thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch y'all down the road. Behave. Bye.